Hey guys, welcome to Best Movie Recap. Today's movie is called The Grey Man, the latest movie from the Russo brothers. It all starts with a prisoner who receives an offer to work as an assassin for the CIA in exchange for his freedom. Everything was going well until his last mission, where his life turned upside down and he became the first target for the CIA. Without any further delay let's get started. The movie starts in 2003 in Florida State Prison, with Court Gentry serving a prison sentence for murder. Visited by the senior CIA official Donald Fitzroy, Gentry is offered the chance to join the Sierra program, a highly secretive unit of covert operatives comprised of former criminals whose identities remain unknown to both the agency and one another. Knowing that, at only 23 years old, Gentry still has decades before his time is up, Fitzroy agrees to serve as his handler and promises him a commuted sentence in exchange for his services as an assassin for the CIA. Gentry agrees but ponders how long he will have to remain in service of the agency and if he will ever be allowed to retire, to which Fitzroy does not respond. The scene then shifts to Bangkok, Thailand 18 years later, where Gentry who is now identified solely by his call sign Sierra 6, alongside his partner Donnie Miranda, are going to take down a target referred to as the dining cart during a New Year's celebration. Fitzroy has since been forced to retire, and Six is the last remaining asset of the now-defunct Sierra program, making him a point of contention for his new handler, the devious and immoral Denny Carmichael. Although Six manages to obtain a clear shot for his target, he decides not to take it after a child gets in the way, greatly upsetting Carmichael, who favors a quick job with additional casualties if necessary. Six goes off the plan and goes after the dining cart when the fireworks outside go off. He and Miranda take out the dining cart's goons before Six goes after the man himself. After a fight, Six fatally stabs him, but the dining cart reveals in his dying breaths that he is Sierra 4, revealing to Six that Carmichael had been secretly planning the disposal of all Sierra operatives. After that, Four gives Six a necklace with a chip containing information that can bring Carmichael and his cronies down. Six take it and leave before the other agent came in. The other agent come in and start searching for body looking for the thumb drive, but they find nothing. After that, Carmichael contacts Six, but the later denies recovering anything from Four. He then switches clothes with a civilian before logging onto a computer to try and see what is on the chip but he is lacking a code to log in. Six then contacts Fitzroy who is in Baku to inform him that he thinks Carmichael is a bad guy. After that, Six sends the thumb drive's contents to Fitzroy and his other former handler, Margaret Cahill before arranging for passage out of Thailand. Meanwhile, Carmichael suspects that Six knows the truth about him, so he employs the help of a former CIA agent named Lloyd Hansen to get to Six first before his deeds are exposed, even though Suzanne Brewer is against it, because Hansen is known as a sociopath. Carmichael calls Hansen, who is in Monaco torturing a man with electric cables. Hansen is more than happy to go after Six. He finds Fitzroy at a funeral and questions him about Six, but gets no answers. Lloyd resorts to having Fitzroy's niece Claire kidnapped as leverage. Six is being escorted by an extraction team in Chiang Mai, but then Fitzroy contacts the leader and tells him to quietly take Six out. However, Six is one step ahead then a bloody battle followed between Six and the extraction team, during the fight, a bullet made a hole in the body of the plane, and it starts its destruction due to the high pressure which forced Six to jump out of it without a parachute, but he manages to catch another goon and used his parachute to land. He then contacts Fitzroy, who tells him that Hansen has Claire. At this moment, Lloyd takes the phone and tells Six to surrender to get a quick easy kill but he refuses. After that, Lloyd put a bounty of $50 million on Six's head. Meanwhile, Six find a train and used it to leave the place, while he was sleeping he had a flashback show two years earlier in London, where Six and Fitzroy met with the Sierra handler Margaret Cahill. Fitzroy has to take on a mission after his address was leaked, so Six's mission was to babysit Claire, who suffers from a heart condition and requires a pacemaker. Though the two struggled to talk at first, Six eventually earned Claire's trust after he brought her to the hospital following a malfunction with her pacemaker 
and also after he saved her from an assassin who break into the house at night, but Six kills him before Claire gets out of bed to see what is going on. Back in the present, Six goes to Vienna to meet with his contact Laszlo Sosa. Planning to use the serial number of Claire's pacemaker to locate her. Six also asked the man to make him a fake passport for a country that refuses to give the fugitives back, but Sosa betrays Six and drops him through a trap door so that he can collect the bounty on Six's head. Meanwhile, Miranda was being questioned by Carmichael who accused her of helping Six and letting him steal the thumb drive. He asked her several questions about Six, but she know nothing, so he decide to suspend her from working until the investigation is done. At this moment Carmichael receive a message from Lloyd about Six's location and Donnie saw it in the reflection of his glasses. Hansen and his goons arrive to get Six, but when Sosa demands his money, Hansen shoots him dead. Six sets up a trap as he fills the hole with water, setting off an explosion that takes Hansen's guys out. Six breaks out and kills the other goons before a brief fight with Hansen. But before Hansen can kill him, Six is saved by Miranda after she tranquilizes Hansen in the butt. Miranda is mad at Six as she is already being questioned by Carmichael after the Bangkok mission. She tranquilizes him too and puts him in a trunk. On the way Six tell Miranda why Carmichael is going after him and revealed that she might be the next target after him. Then he asks for her help to take back the flash drive from Prague and to save Fitzroy and his niece. Meanwhile, Hansen returns to his base of operation where Claire is being kept in a mansion and Fitzroy is brought back to her. Hansen also has his team there, along with Brewer, who choose him out for his actions. After his goons take Claire away, Hansen tortures Fitzroy by ripping off his fingernails for info on Six, but Fitzroy never budges. The pair arrive in Prague to find Cahill, who is also retired and dying from terminal cancer. Having cracked the thumb drive's codes, Cahill reveals to the pair Carmichael's dirty history with the CIA, including unauthorized deaths and instances of terror that were conducted with his knowledge and remained unsanctioned by the agency. Hansen's guys manage to track them there and send more assassins. After some gunfire, Cahill gives Six and Miranda a chance to escape. Once the assassins reach her, Cahill blows up her apartment with herself and the bad guys in there. Six is eventually cornered by Czech police officers, who handcuff him to a park bench before being killed during a shootout with various mercenary teams that had all arrived to collect the bounty on Six. Once again, Six eventually manages to escape by using a gun to free himself, then he jumps into a train, the mercenaries saw and follow him on the train where they try to kill him. But Six is a legend, and he kills them all, then Miranda shows up in a supercar and helps Six to escape before the train crash down. Then the two escape in the car and head to a hospital crowded with injured civilians to obtain the serial number for Claire's pacemaker. It's during this time that Six reveals to Miranda that he originally went to prison for murdering his abusive father, which he did to avenge the physical and emotional pain he inflicted on both him and his younger brother. He tells her he doesn't regret doing it, as he knows his brother may have died if he did not intervene, but instead regrets the life it led him to lead. While the two find the location of the Fitzroys. Hansen who lost all his team's resorts to sending his own assassin, Lone Wolf. He finds the two in the hospital, then a battle followed between him, Six and Miranda. Wolf is well trained, and he took advantage of Six wounds to defeat him, then he took the flash drive and escaped from the windows. Outside Wolf tries to turn the police against Six before attacking the police himself and making his way to Hansen's base of operations in Croatia. Deciding to go after Hansen themselves, Six infiltrates the Croatian mansion, while Miranda manages to kill as much as she can of the goons, before she almost shoots Lloyd who figures out her plan and realized that Miranda is just a diversion, in the meantime, Six manages to rescue Fitzroy and Claire, and leads them to the roof of the mansion, where Fitzroy is shot by the enemy fire. Promising to take care of Claire, Six escapes with her, by jumping off the roof into a neighboring pond, while Fitzroy sets off a hand grenade to deter Hansen's team, killing himself in the process. Meanwhile, Miranda fights Wolf, and they nearly kill each other until Wolf just gives her the chip, saying that he no longer wishes to work for dishonorable people like Hansen. 
Hansen catches up to Six and Claire, and he takes her hostage. Six chases him through a hedge maze before they end up at a fountain. Six drops his gun, so Hansen will let Claire go. Despite her protests, Six tells her to run so she can be safe. The two men fight in the fountain, with Six gaining the upper hand at first, but Hansen fights back after pulling a knife, putting Six in a lock, and attempting to drown him. Six recalls an old memory of his father attempting to drown him as well and finds the courage to take Hansen down. Before Six can kill Hansen himself, Hansen is shot dead by Brewer, who has had her own agenda all along. She also shoots Six and tells him they are going to pin the entire series of events on Hansen and paint him as a corrupt rogue agent. She also threatens Claire in order to keep Six in line. Carmichael and Brewer meet with their higher-ups and sweep the whole mess under the rug, with Carmichael destroying the chip to avoid any consequences. They attempt to make Six and Miranda be compliant with their cover-up, but they are both shocked to find that Six has escaped their custody. Claire is now in a secret location with armed men guarding her. She hears gunshots outside, then she met Six, who hugs her. He then takes her away, so they can be free together. Thanks for watching. If you like the video put a like and share it, also don't forget to subscribe for more, have a great day.